I'm Matt Bichard for REIT.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2014. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is David LaRue, the President and CEO of Forest City Enterprises. David, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Always glad to uh, talk with uh, Nayri. Uh, I'd like to break this interview into three parts focused on Forest City's outlook for your, for your three property sectors. Now, let's start with the office sector, which struggled a little bit in 2013. How is that portfolio looking for the rest of 2014? Well, uh, we're very positive on the office uh, piece of our portfolio. Uh, the, the struggles we had were based upon a single building here in New York, our Pierpont Plaza in Brooklyn, uh, where we had a major tenant vacate uh, at the beginning of 2013. Uh, we spent last year releasing the space uh, and have made great strides in getting that done. So as you looked at our first quarter results, uh, we had a positive comp for the first time in over a year. Uh, as I look forward for the balance of the year, uh, we see that strength continuing to build and that comp even getting stronger uh, because of that leasing. When we look at the strength of the Brooklyn market, uh, New York market in general, and then couple that with our life science market in Cambridge, uh, we see very positive trends for that, that piece of our portfolio. And on the residential side, a lot of the attention has been paid to the construction of the tower at Atlantic Yards. How is that project going and what about the residential sector as a whole? Uh, so let me start with the residential sector as a whole. Uh, that, is the, the pro that is the sector that is uh, getting a lot of attention because of the amount of development and new uh, supply being added to the market. Uh, when we look at our portfolio and where we will be adding uh, new projects, New York Atlantic Yards, uh, the yards in Washington, D.C., Again, we feel uh, very strong about the opportunity to create value through that development process that we have uh, based upon the strength of those uh, particular markets. Uh, we see the same in California, Los Angeles, or San Francisco as well. Uh, the B2 building, which is what you're referring to, is our tower that's uh, our building under construction, Atlantic Yards, has been delayed. Um, th this was a very innovative uh, pr uh, process we put in place. Uh, it's uh, designed to be the, the world's tallest modular building. Uh, what's, uh, the good thing about it is we have proved that this technology does work. We have in fact assembled approximately 120 modules in a factory in Brooklyn. Uh, so we have manufacturing happening in Brooklyn. Uh, we take the modules uh, over to the site and put them into place. And for the first flat five floors of the building, it in fact has worked. So that's the great part about it. Uh, where where we're, we are disappointed is that there has been a delay. Uh, innovation has taken longer than we anticipated. Uh, getting the factory up to speed has taken longer than we anticipated. Uh, but overall, uh, we think as we progress up the building and finish out the balance of the 32 floors, uh, we are gonna have a beautiful asset in a strong market and at the end of the day, uh, we didn't invest for this one year period, we invested for the long term, so we had to be in good shape with that asset. And lastly, you know, the terrible winter that we had put a, put a dent in the retail sector in the first quarter. Uh, how have things rebounded, rebounded and, and what's the outlook there? Uh, we, we did have a, an impact, uh, we reported in our portfolio. Uh, you know, severe winter, winter weather was, I think, a norm across uh, everybody's minds in the retail business. Uh, shoppers just did stay at home. Uh, as we, and that did impact our comp NOI. It was actually uh, down, uh, and I think we estimated about 1% of the down was due to uh, cost related to uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, cold weather in the first quarter. As we look forward, uh, we're seeing a rebound in that shopping center, maybe some pent up demand that the uh, shoppers had from being uh, locked up all winter, cabin fever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, and as we look at the portfolio, uh, our portfolio in particular, uh, the remerchandising efforts uh, that we had started last year and are uh, going uh, through uh, with this year, uh, we are affecting about 20% of our portfolio, but getting good, uh, good tenants, good merchandising, and I think uh, the ultimate goal of delivering that service in particular tenant to the markets where uh, the demand exists is what is going to play out, uh, I think, across our portfolio. And, and as I think about it, the whole industry uh, where, where uh, shopper demand is there, 
and uh, I think uh, the supply constraints will just continue to boost demand for our space. David, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, always happy to help out. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. Mm -hmm.